Hi guys, welcome back, it's Joe's Craig, and today we're going to be talking about Square Enix's new game, Left Alive, which was presented at the Tokyo Game Show this year. In the first trailer, you can pretty much notice the, the portrait hanging on the wall, which is the Huffman Island map, which is showing that this is pretty much a revive or a spin-off of, of the front mission games. Uh, and, you know, pretty much this. The story of this game will be set after the events of Front Mission 5 in the city of Novoslava. Uh, which pretty much unlike the other games that came out before it, the tactical, you know, uh, RPG sim or series, whatever way you want to pronounce it, is this one's going to be a survival action shooter based on everything I've seen so far with the trailers and what I've heard online. I'm kind of happy about it. It's kind of an interesting approach to it, but I'm also being cautiously optimistic. But anyway, we're going to jump into the second trailer now and have a quick look at that and pretty much talk about it afterwards. Hi guys, welcome back to Joe's Craig, and I as promised I will talk to you about this right now. Uh, before I start about my bullet points and my theories and stuff like that about this particular game, I just want to point out my excitement about this and how I'm being cautiously optimistic, but I have some faith in the development team behind it. Of course, my favorite one right off the bat, which is Yoji Shinkawa, the character designer of this and former lead character designer on the Metal Gear series, which is my favorite series, guys. So I have a lot of faith in here, and he's done some fantastic artwork for this game. We also have the um, Armored Core series producer, Toshifimi Nebushimi, who's working as the director now on this game, which is absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to see it. And also we have uh, Shinji Hashimoto from Square Enix being the producer, which is fantastic. These guys are very respected in their field, in my opinion, and I cannot wait to see what they're like. But anyway... We're going to link into some theories in a moment. Uh, the first theory being the main character, one of the main characters' backgrounds, which we kind of never really got like a idea of, since the you know the game's just you know information's pouring out as we speak, but not a lot of it. So we're going to start it off right here with this character right now. But before that, we just want to have a look of all three characters in this game. In this game, you'll be able to play three different story arcs with three different main characters. Of course, you have the gentleman in the middle, the lady on the right, and the other gentleman down at the bottom left. So it's very good. I also love this uh, promotional art by um, Yoji Shinkawa. Absolutely amazing. I need to get my hands on an actual poster of it. <laughs> so it'd be very interesting now as we saw there the gentleman in the middle holding the rifle is now on the screen in the CGI cutscene I want to point out something very distinctive about this gentleman he wears tattoos on his necks which are stars that also relate to a Russian prison tattoo and also the domed church uh, kind of uh, symbols on his chest also represent how many years he's been incarcerated so there's probably multiple dome churches on his chest marking how long he's been incarcerated in jail and I'm kind of wondering what kind of person he is now fighting against whoever is invading this peaceful country anyway as you can see here I'm talking about the country now we have been confirmed it's a Russian town but I might have an idea of where it is as you see here we have a still frame it's a very beautiful landscape desolate but beautiful during the winter time and also in the far distance you can see a domed building i thought maybe it was something american or something mixed with russian and american but no i think i have a very firm idea that this is actually saint petersburg but their own way of doing it a fictionalized saint petersburg which i looked up the actual building this represents it's actually the saint isaac uh cathedral in saint petersburg it's in saint isaac uh square it's a very beautiful church, you know, of course, but also to prove my point around this, there would be a photo floating around of the uh, example. You can kind of see it from the concept of, 
of this being a fictionalized St. Petersburg. Of course, my next point is about a very particular Russian author, which you will find out right now, and I'm probably going to butcher his name when I say this, but anyway. Dostoy Vieski, which is the author who wrote The God and the Devil Are Fighting There and The Battlefield is in the Heart of Man, which kind of, I extend on my point right now, this very particular man was born in Russia, in, born in Russia, Russia, Moscow, during the Imperial like, Empire era of Russia, but also he was raised, not raised, he went to school in St. Petersburg. After that, he got arrested for being a bunch of radical writers at the time as well. He came back after forced labor, and I think he had compulsory military service as well. On top of that, or that might have been in his younger years. But anyway, that kind of proves my point about this, because he's actually buried near a covenant, which is about maybe, I think, a couple of kilometers away from St. Petersburg itself. But the idea of this is that this uh, character kind of represents the uh you know jailed uh kind of a you know he was an ex-prisoner now he's back home where he lives and where he called home so yeah that's pretty much my idea about this guys but yeah if you like the idea like the theory leave a like down below and leave me a comment as well and give me a bit of your theory as well and we'll talk about it anyway guys that's pretty much it and i'll see you next time on rtc see you guys have a good one